guys, so today we're gonna be making the oatmeal tostadas slash tortillas. They are um, just a really healthy alternative for normal maize tortillas. Um, we're gonna be doing them like the FTDI style, which is the camp that I know most of you guys are doing, or if you're not even doing the camp, you can just go ahead and make these if you wanna be a little bit healthier. I'm gonna let you guys know the ingredients that we need. We need oatmeal, well the oats, eggs, pepper, pink Himalayan salt, some kind of cooking spray, preferably like the zero calorie one, anything will work. Um, some water, a measuring cup, a spatula, this cuchara for, I don't know, the pozole one, a fork, a spoon, and then the strainer. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do, since if you're doing the can, and that's the easiest way that it is for me, for women, you're allowed to have two ounces of carbs, and for men, three ounces of carbs. So you wanna go ahead and weigh it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my bowl right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the scale, that way you guys can see. And I'm kind of short, so I can't really tell what it says. So we're gonna go ahead and just place your bowl. You wanna hit tear, that way it zeroes everything out again and you get the correct measurement. So I'm gonna go around because I can't really see what it says. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the two ounces and this is gonna count as your carbs for the day. And don't worry, my hands are clean. I did wash them prior to this. Okay, so right there, ya nos pasamos poquito, so you wanna take a little bit back and put it back. So now that you're at the exactly two ounces, you're gonna go ahead and take this and you're gonna go ahead and blend it. All right, so once you have this blended, you can do one of two things. So either you can just leave it like this and that's probably the easiest way possible for all of you guys, or you can take the extra step. You can go ahead and put this here and you can, um, let me switch these bowls. You can um, strain it. That way everything is more of a flour form but the only thing with that, you're gonna go ahead and have like all these little um, clumps of the oats. And what that's gonna happen, you're gonna have to constantly keep blending it till you get into that powder form and you're gonna have to keep straining it till you get the two ounces. So to just make it simpler for all of us, we're just gonna take the easy way out and just keep the two ounces of oatmeal in there. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So now that we have this, this is your two ounces of the carbs, like I said prior. We're gonna go ahead and use one egg white, regardless for men or women, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. And that's the only thing with that, you're gonna have to subtract your one of the proteins with what you're allowed to eat. So for women, if you're able to have four ounces of protein with adding the egg white in there, you're only gonna be able to eat three. So if you're a male, if you can only have six ounces of protein, if you add the egg white, then you can only have five. So you just have to be really conscious about, you know, adding the egg whites. I haven't tried it without it. I know some people try it without it, but this is how I made them and they came out really good. So you're gonna go ahead and crack your egg and just be really careful. If you happen to put a little bit of the yolk in there, just try to take it out but just try to be really careful doing that. So once you're done with that, you're gonna mix it together. So I'm gonna use my fork. I'm gonna go ahead and just start mixing this. That way it can get incorporated to the oats and the egg all together. You're gonna notice it starts getting kind of clumpy. Just keep whisking, you can even use a whisk. I just have a fork right now, lo tengo a la mano, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Okay, once you're here, you wanna add a little bit of, um, I was gonna say sugar, salt to it. So just add just the slightest amount to give it a little bit of flavor. And then some pepper. And these two products are FTDI, so we're good. And like I said, even if you're not doing this Camp, this diet, you're more than welcome to use this recipe because they honestly come out really good for homemade tortillas and tostadas. So once you get to this, it kind of looks like a little bit doughy. 
you're gonna add water so me personally i just eyeball it but for the sake for the purpose of this video we're gonna go ahead and measure it and then i'll let you guys know about how much so we're gonna start with half a cup and you do want it to be kind of runny so that's a half a cup for this is a woman's um portion i'm just gonna keep on blending or whisking mixing it okay so now we have my stove on and our mixture is almost ready you it is gonna be clumpy a little bit still just try to get rid of those clumps as much as possible i have heard of some people that put all the ingredients in the blender once they have everything measured out and they blend it and that's how they do it i mean i haven't tried it go ahead and try it feel free but this is just my way and this is how you have it okay so first thing, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray our, this is a comal. I'm not quite sure what you call these in English. To us, it's a comal. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it just slightly so it doesn't stick to the pan. The first time that I made them, I was able to get about three of these tortillas for women and then I was like four or five for men. I'm not quite sure, but all of my batches pretty much came out the same. Don't worry if the first time that you do it, it comes out really ugly and funky because that's just, it's part of the process of learning. So you wanna go ahead, we'll start over here. You're gonna go ahead and put it, like if you were making pancakes and you just wanna spread it out as much as you can. Okay, so then we're gonna add another one. And it's just like if you were making pancakes. The thinner that you want them, um, you can add possibly more water. This is just how I make them. I'm going to wait for those to finish cooking a little bit. That way I can go ahead and scoot them back and add my last one. But as you can see, it pretty much made three. Not all of them are going to come out the same exact size. And if you look at it closely, they do have clumps in it. But it's totally fine. It's not like you're going to be able to really taste it. So it's gonna cook really, really quick. So just make sure that, you know, que no se te vayan a quemar, don't let it burn. But pretty much, they're already cooking because you can even like start lifting it up. So just go ahead and let it cook through. I have my stove at about medium. You can have it a little bit lower than that if you know, if you're doing other stuff and you don't want, it, you don't want them to burn. During this time, if you do want to go ahead and make them tostadas, we're gonna go ahead and just, um, you know, turn on your oven. You wanna turn it up about 350 be between that and 400 degrees and leave them in there for about 15, 20 minutes till you get your desired um, crunchiness. Um, do that, you know, en lo mientras se va a estar calentando your oven, it's gonna be warming up. Once you see the tortillas kind of browning, just go ahead and flip it over. And that's pretty much what they look like. We're gonna go ahead and do our last one. And I try to get as much of it out as I can because, hey, those are our carbs and we're really limited on them. So I'll go ahead and spread it out. The first time I made these, they came out looking really ugly. So like I said, oh, and if that happens, like where it breaks, just try to add a little bit in there and it'll be totally fine. So for a male, it's probably gonna make about four. So you would be totally fine with that. And then these, the other side, doesn't really take that much time to cook. You know how Hispanics just flip it with your nails? I mean, you can do that, but just wait a little bit. All right, so once you have your tortillas here made, the last thing you're probably gonna need, well, not probably, if you wanna make tostadas, is some type of oven um, sartén or glassware that you can go ahead and put in there. I put foil on top of it because it just makes it easier for me to clean up. And with this, there's not really much cleanup, but just, just in case. But we're gonna go ahead and put this up to the side. So our tortillas are basically already done. So we're gonna take them off here. 
this is what they're gonna look like make sure to turn off your stove they're gonna legit look like tortillas so what, one example you can do is you can make like um taquitos you can roll them up maybe pop them in your air fryer so or you can just do like a plain taco and then just eat it or another option is gonna be my brother made some turkey thing in the morning so we're gonna just use it as an example so this can be like a taco and you can put like cilantro cebolla which is cilantro and onions with some salsa that's ftdi or any kind of salsa that you have at home and then you can just go ahead and roll it up and eat it like if it was real tacos all right so the way you want to place them on here is just organize them the best as you can when you put them in the oven you're just going to put them in there and maybe wait about 10 minutes then you want to flip them over again you have to constantly keep watching it me personally i'm going to put mine in there for 400 degrees and i'm going to wait about 15 minutes then i'm going to go flip them over wait maybe another five or so um till they get the browning or the crunchiness that i would like so we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven, okay? okay so this is gonna be, for example, your final product. Um, the first time that I did make these, I made tilapia aguachiles. I will have a video on that next time. Um, so one thing I do want you guys to keep in mind, everybody is gonna have them in the oven depending on their desired crunchiness that they want. When I made them the first time and I made them for my brother, he wanted them crunchier. So what I did, I popped them back in the oven. So this is one way you can eat them. You can just make your serving, which would be these three that came out with, that was my batch. And I can just put my ground turkey, your chicken, whatever protein that you did use, just make sure you only use three ounces opposed to the four if you're a woman. And then use five ounces of protein opposed to six if you're a man, because always remember, you did use that egg white. So I just want you guys to um, take a look. Like these are really, really crunchy. So they're, you can actually hear it. They're really tostadas. Just a much healthier version. You can make chilaquiles with these. You can just use them as like chips when you wanna eat something. It, the possibilities are really endless. So this is gonna be just a quick little video, our first video here. So just make sure you like the video, you comment and you subscribe. And then there'll be more videos coming to you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching.